He put the chips in his purse, and then you guys took off with it. That doesn't sound like us. Mine had eighty thousand dollars inside. And this one, nothing. Hey, there's Skittles in there. No! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's funny because he's fat. The book certainly had the last laugh on last night's appetizer for week one in college football. Offshore faced an imbalanced sheet as support ran the spread upward on Georgia State all week. Abilene Christian was the better team for all but the waning minutes of both the half and end of game. Right before the half, they let the Panthers have an easier path than the marching bands had for their halftime shows. Again, Abilene asserted themselves in the second half and kept a nine-point lead for a good portion until the late game. A touchdown got the Panthers within two. Two fourth down and forevers were converted on the last fateful drive. The books were equally blessed when the go-ahead touchdown was called back due to holding. In the end, the chip shot field goal gave the Panthers the win, but no covers on the spread. Factor in that the Abilene money line did not cash got them more savings. Finally, the total that was bet way down was shredded on the over. One day in, and the books are already thanking the heavens that college football has begun. The line that was dubbed by the public as being the most incorrect has to belong to tonight's game between Wake Forest and Louisiana Monroe. What has started off with Louisiana Monroe getting seven points has transformed all the way to them spotting Wake Forest two points in most major markets. The key question in this one is how late can we come to the party and still make it to our destination? The problems of Wake might be in the past, but how quickly can their ship be turned around? Dave Clawson comes from Bowling Green and immediately puts a stamp on the program by tagging one of his own players, a true freshman, to be his starter in Josh Wolford. Meanwhile, Louisiana Monroe gets Wolfpack transfer Todd Berry to start for them right away. He comes with a plethora of experience as he started multiple games for North Carolina State. He has tall shoes to fill as KB15 Kevin Browning graduated. The concern is that Todd is missing mobility in his game that ULM quite used effectively in Browning's reign. ULM offensive line is experienced. They have quality in both tailback and wide receiver positions. Their unique defensive formations are sure to give the Deacons a fit. While this level line movement is more justified than Georgia State's last night, the value has run its course. This might still be the smart play, but the line has gotten so far out of hand that this game is a pass. Gun to the head says take Louisiana Monroe, but the next play of ours is better and is in fact your play of the day. I can imagine the Big Ten ordering an extra system for Minnesota head coach Jerry Kill. To say that he's a throwback is understated. He seems to be possessed by the spirit of coaches like Bo Schembechler as he is resurrecting three yards on a cloud dust in Minnesota. Gophers found out last year that their run-orientated offense allowed them to stay in games against the upper echelon of the Big Ten. This stratagem has appeal as it limits turnover and possessions. It allows for a safer path to victory, which is going to be awarded more this season since the exodus of computer polls being relevant for playoff considerations. Minnesota returns a stable of running backs with David Cobb leading the way once again. For Eastern Illinois, their starting quarterback graduated to the NFL. Their former coach is now a Bowling Green. The new coach is a former defensive assistant. He has been reluctant to even name a starting quarterback. Look for simplified formations with an emphasis on time of possession as well. The spread of 26 and a half given in this one was only covered once by Minnesota in their games last year. Success for the Golden Gophers is going to be key league wins. This is a stepping stone game that will be approached with caution. Look for the cover by Eastern Illinois for the fact that conservatism will reign on both sides in this one. Good fortune with your wager recommendation tonight, and I hope to see you at the ticket window in the morning.